Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury cruise experts, and today I'm on board the stunning Celebrity Millennium. She had her Celebrity Revolution upgrades, they touched every single part of the ship, and she looks to be in incredible shape. We cannot wait to share that with you, and we're just so happy to be back on board. This is the very first cruise from a major US brand, sailing from North America in the last nearly year and a half, and we can't wait to show you what it's all about. Now we've started right up top here above the main pool deck. This is the jogging track up here. Of course, you've got loungers and if you love the sun, this is a place that you're gonna absolutely love to be. But I wanted to start out here just so you can get a great vantage point of the ship itself. You've got a couple of the specialty restaurants set just behind there, cuisine is inside. You've got the two pools, so the front pool, the hot tubs, and then down below as well. But as we walk a little bit around the sun deck, what you can see is all of the different loungers. Like I mentioned, this is the jogging track, much better early in the morning or later in the evening. They've got the loungers facing out to the beautiful Caribbean views that we'll be experiencing in just a few minutes. And on the other side, they're facing down to the main pool area. Just for point of reference, we're heading aft on the ship right now. If we were to head forward, we'd head right on up to that beautiful retreat sun deck. I can't wait to share that with you. It looks incredible. All the new retreat amenities for the suites that they have on board, they've really done an incredible job with. Also on the front of the ship, you're gonna find the main lounge and the solarium, but let's see this incredible vessel. So now we're gonna check out the very first bar throughout the ship tour. This is the mast bar. It's set above the pool deck, so you can sit here, turn around and get a great view of the deck. You get that fantastic breeze coming off. Of course, they also provide service to all the loungers and everything up here on the top deck. In fact, I think it might be time for my first drink. Hey, my day, can I get a uh, gin and... Oh, Enjoy mm. your I don't know if that's a good thing, day one. He already knows what I'm gonna order, but cheers. Thank you guys. Welcome back. We're so happy to be here. On the far side of the mast bar, You've got more tables. This is actually one of the designated outdoor smoking areas. The other side is smoke free and all around the back as well. So if you want to utilize that, you can. You can see they have all of the loungers set all along the deck here. And then as we continue back around the for a far side of the bar, you also have this fantastic seating area here. So this is new. And one of the things that I love that they've done throughout the ship is they've added extra bits of art. Of course, love is what it's all about. We love cruising, we love our crew member friends, and we love this beautiful ship. So I love that they added that touch on there for us. But once again, lots of different diverse seating areas. You can sit here and have a cocktail, relax throughout the day, or maybe even grab a cup of coffee or tea and sit up here in the morning. So now we're gonna head towards the front of the ship, just for point of reference, the solarium is right here to the left. And then we're gonna head on up to the retreat sun deck. There's two ways to get there. You can head right up the stairs here as well, but they also added in a lift for those who need that for accessibility needs, and that's right around the corner. So just above the pool in the front part of the ship, you're gonna find the brand new retreat sun deck. So this is just for retreat guests. That's those sky suites and up. They've improved the experience in an incredible way. Let me show you this beautiful space. So you have an elevator right here. If you wanna take that up from the pool deck, you're gonna to have to take the eleva main elevator up to deck 11, and then you'll go ahead and board that here. And then just around the corner is actually where the stairs come up. So you can come up either way. And this is the entry to the retreat. You've got a couple day beds right here, but I wanted to point out these nice amenities. So they've got the towels, of course, they'll replenish them as you like. They even have some extra things like sunscreen, lip balm, and even sunglasses. So they're taking care of all of those details. Now this entire space, and it's a ton of space, is dedicated to suite guests only. You can see here they have these beautiful day beds that does pull up. There's a straight shade structure right here so you can get the shade. You've got the bench seats as well. So I just headed a little bit further forward and now we're at the very front of the ship. This is that phenomenal real estate for suite guests. You've got a cabana here, you've got day beds, you've got loungers, they've got a mix and match all throughout. But what makes this so special is right here at the front of the ship, you get those incredible views looking out to the front. In fact, right now we've got the enchantment of the seas in front of us, but as we sail away in just a few minutes, that's gonna change and it's gonna be the most incredible view throughout your stay. Now they also have a whirlpool here and you'll see as we continue along to the other side, basically has the both things on either side. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Celebrity Suite experience. Because it's no longer the suite experience, it is the retreat that starts before you go, all the way through your stay, and even as you depart to head on home. You're gonna get all of the amenities that Celebrity has to offer, the unlimited premium beverage package, the streaming Wi-Fi. In many cases, you're also going to get that credit for shore excursions, you're gonna have an onboard credit, and also prepaid gratuities. They really 
really wanted you to have an incredible all-inclusive experience so you head on board the ship and you get everything that this beautiful ship has to offer. Now this sun deck to me is one of the best perks. Of course you also have the sweet lounge but the one that matters more than any else is your retreat host. These used to be called butlers, right? And so you're probably familiar with that, but the retreat host experience, once again, before you board all the way through your entire cruise, they're gonna take care of you 24 hours a day, all of the needs that you may have, because that's what a vacation is all about. It's about having what you want, when you want, and in the way that you prefer. So now let's head through the rest of the space. You see very similar to the other side, you've got the day beds. You'll see that the loungers have these really thick pads extra nice towel so those are upgrades as well you also have showers up here there's a rainforest shower head i'll just point it out but what you can see throughout this space is just like the entire rest of the ship the celebrity revolution upgrades to make this a beautiful modern ship has really really been a success now as we continue along i'm going to take you up to the second tier you can see that behind me there uh, in the suite lounge area sorry retreat uh, but what i wanted to point out is that your host is more than just the person that works with you in your room your host is actually going to be available to you up here as well so more of the day beds as you continue along you can see it's the exact as the other side except for this side does not have the elevator coming up so you'll probably come up on the far side on the next tier of the retreat sun deck, you're gonna find more seating. They have these really large couches. This is that perfect place to have a nice cocktail before you head down to dinner. Take advantage of the beautiful Caribbean sun, Alaska, wherever it is that you are. You get those amazing views from up here as well. So I pointed out the views that you get at the very front, but as you can see, they have glass wrapped all the way around 270 degrees. So wherever it is that you're sailing, you're gonna be able to capture those amazing views. They have more of these daybed loungers that are set up here. These pull out for an ottoman. And one thing that I love that they added on was a dining experience as well. You've got to try that signature retreat burger. It's fantastic. They got shrimp cocktails. They mix and match throughout your cruise. But you can see here that you have the tables set up for dining. Right now they're all set up for four, but you can push them together. Maybe you have a larger group traveling together. And as we continue along, you've got more seating on this side. And then this is the side where you're actually gonna have a ramp up. So they went very, very extensive lengths to make sure that it is accessible. There's a lift in the hot tub as well. But I just wanted to point out this ramp would head right on down where you can use that elevator and head up and enjoy the incredible retreat sun deck experience. One of the things that Celebrity did beautifully with this ship is take underutilized spaces and repurpose them for something amazing. And they really, really did that with this rooftop terrace. This didn't used to exist, but they put in all the new decking up here. You have the different couches set up in several different configurations. So you've got a really large sectional over there, a couple smaller ones, and then tucked just in the back, you have those day beds and double loungers. Now you can utilize this space throughout the day. It's a great place to relax and retreat to, if you will. They also have a large screen TV. So they'll have football games, movies, different things up here throughout your stay. Now, if you're cruising in Alaska, the fjords, someplace scenic, this is another place where you can have a nice seat and you can look out because you can head all the way around. It wraps around 270 degrees to see the views wherever it is you are. We're currently in St. Martin and we can see that beautiful island in the distance as well. But once again, kudos to Celebrity for getting this space really, really right. On the very top of the ship near the aft, you're gonna find the sport court. So you can utilize this whenever you want. They're gonna have set activities here, maybe a three on three tournament, dodgeball, all kinds of different fun. You see they've got the two basketball hoops up here. They also have the two soccer goals or football, if you will. In fact, this space is used more by the crew than by passengers from my experience. They'll come up here in the evening and play a nice game of football. We've got some wind going today, but let's see. I don't know, do I have it? Oh, now well, let's give it one more shot. Let's see, gotta get the old free throw line experience. Yep, nothing but air. So we just went down the steps to the main pool deck area. You can see you have the large pool right here. It's big enough for laps. I really appreciate that they have that. You got the two staircases that go up and then you just step right on into the pool. Wanted to point out they do have a full lift here. On both sides, you're gonna find these jacuzzi hot tubs, really nice and comfy. I I've always loved them on board this particular ship, but I like that they have the showers right before you head in and of course when you head out. So you've got jacuzzi here, one on the other side as well. More of the showers all around the pool deck. Now it's kind of tiered, so I'm gonna take a few steps up. You can see you have loungers up here and all the way around in the middle. One of the things that I did wanna point out, you see the lights up top there, they're also on the other side as well. So in the evening, they can clear all of this space out, and this is where they're gonna do different nighttime activities. 
have some dancing, have some relaxation and fun as well. And then on both sides, you're gonna find quite a few more loungers. There's a ton on either side over here and over there as well. As we continue along on the far side, you're gonna find the bandstand. We had a couple of people that were singing here just a few minutes ago, getting us pumped up and ready to go. Every time I hear that music start, I know it's time for a cruise. Next to every great cruise ship pool, there is a phenomenal bar, of course. And of course, with Celebrity, you're gonna have the inclusions of the classic package for every single guest. I always upgrade to the premium because, well, they've got a phenomenal premium selection. Can I get a tanker? Oh, I think I've been here a few times already. Cheers. Yeah, enjoy, got my enjoy. tanker A10 and tonic. Oh, every single time. These guys have been having a phenomenal time with us, laughing, smiling. They're so happy to be back on board, just like we are as well. Like with every single cruise ship, it's the crew that makes all the difference in the world. You got the same alcohol, you got pretty much the same food and things along those lines, but it's how you prepare it and the care that you give. And I just can't tell you how much we've loved cruising on Celebrity this week and how much we've enjoyed being with all of the phenomenal bartenders, servers, waiters, all of the above. They've been incredible. We're happy to be back to work. They're happy to be back to work. So cheers to that. This beautiful space is the solarium. So you see in here, they've got a huge pool in the middle. You've got these nice ergonomic bubble loungers on either side. You also have those hydrotherapy jets on the four corners as well. So you want that waterfall treatment on your back, loosen it up, it's a perfect thing for that. You've got hot tubs on both sides. I did want to point out that the hot tub on the other side does have an accessible lift if you need to utilize that. Behind the pool, you're gonna have showers. I like that you just step right on down and walk through. And then on the bottom, they've got the teak drain, so it's nice and comfortable as well. Now on one side of the solarium, you're gonna find loungers and seats. You've got day beds and also single loungers. There's also some bench seating as well. And then on the other side, you're gonna find more of that, but you'll see that you have all of the seating for the spa cafe. So you've got tables, two, four, of course you can put them together for larger as well. Now when this ship was designed, in fact, when this class was designed, it had Alaska in on the mine. So they were doing Alaska in the summer as they still do now. And then it heads back to the Caribbean usually in the winter. Of course, this ship goes all around the world, Asia, Australia. But what's great about having a solarium like this is whatever the weather is outside, it's beautiful in here. One thing that I have always loved that Celebrities had is the Spa Cafe. So they've had this on this ship since it started. Of course, it's been upgraded completely, but they've also added in a juice bar. So right here, you have a large juice bar where you can have all kinds of different things. I see different mangoes, strawberries, berries, avocados beets. They'll make all the juices just behind here. One of the things I did want to add in is that is included with the premium beverage package. There's a lot of great inclusions with that premium package. In fact, Taylor doesn't really drink much, but he and his wife are getting it because they like all the upgrades that come in the non-alcoholic range. And that's not normal for a lot of the different cruise lines. Let me take you on through here. You've got a full beverage station, the Lavazza Coffee, one of those partnerships that Celebrity has. Tea, you can utilize these throughout the day. Juices as well. And then over here is where you're gonna find the spa cafe portion. So they have all kinds of different healthy eats. You want something quick. They've got fruit platters. They've got all kinds of different salads and things as well. And well, I do love carbs. So the breadsticks and the cookies make me happy in addition. And then from here, you can head right on over to the seating area and you have seating in here. So one, once again, another great food and drink option. So now we're just inside the spa and Celebrity does it better than just about anyone. They do an amazing job with the amount of treatments, the quality, and of course the people have been incredible. So we're gonna start off in the salon, let's head on in. So right at the entrance of the spa, you're gonna find the gents and the ladies locker rooms. So this is where you're gonna come and get ready for your treatments or before or after you utilize the fitness center. And also this happens to be attached to the solarium pool as well. So you can head right on out and utilize this space. So lockers up and down here, there's a couple showers. I do like that they have the large rainforest shower heads up above. And then a really nice feature is the sauna. So in here, of course, in the Persian garden, you're gonna have a full sauna experience. It's another level with the infrared sauna. But in here, you've got the sauna that was completely redone during the revolution. You can see you've got the bucket for water, the hot stones, and a couple levels to sit. This is great whether you wanna you know, start your, your workout or finish your workout this way. And it's also fantastic for detoxification. In the heart of the spa, you'll find the Persian garden thermal suite. It is complimentary for aqua class guests and also certain levels of the captain's club can utilize this at least one time complimentary during their trip on a port day. But what this is, is like I said, it's a thermal suite. You have this really relaxing bench, so it's nice and warm. You see it's ergonomic here, so you can sit, especially good for a bad back is why I'll be back here shortly. 
On the other side, you're gonna find a Turkish bath. We can, of course, open that up. It'll fog up the camera. But in there, you're gonna find a nice, moist environment. You get the aromatherapy as well. Continuing along, when they did the renovation, they really upgraded the sauna. Let me open that up here. They put in a uh, infrared sauna all the way around. So you have the different infrared panels versus the old school one. And I think it's a really big improvement. Continuing along, you've got the rainfall shower right here to my left, and then tucked right around the corner, you're gonna have a second one as well. And then they converted this aromatherapy area to a salt therapy inhale. So you're gonna get a combination of the aromatherapy and the salt. Once again, it's got moisture in the air there, so we're not gonna open it up for the camera. But you can combine all of these together, do a nice little circuit, and get completely relaxed and refreshed. Celebrity offers a wide array of different treatments. You can see that this particular room is set up for a couple's massage. You can do just about any treatments as a couple if you'd like. They also have the single rooms in addition. What I love about it is that there's so many different ones to choose from, you're sure to find a perfect solution for you. Now, my personal favorite is going to be the hot stone massage, so I'll see you a little bit later. Hopefully there's no turkey cooking in there. Now you're gonna find several different treatments that are unique to Celebrity. This is one of their treatment rooms. This is a zero gravity bed. So essentially they can move it around eight different positions so they can focus on certain parts of your body. One uniquely Celebrity treatment is this beautiful quartz and amber bed. So you can see the entire bed has quartz and amber in there. It's supposed to stimulate every single cell in your body, invigorate you, cleanse all of the above, but it looks like a really cool treatment. So now we're just inside the salon. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's where you wanna go if you wanna do hair, nails, any of those different treatments that you do at home, you can have them here as well. So you see you have the hair station set up over there, the two hair washing with an incredible view out the side of the ship. You've got your manicure station right here as well. And then as we continue right around the corner, you have another manicure station here. And then you also have a station for pedicures. What I liked is, well, the bulls are even big enough for my size 15 feet and I think I'll be back. Just off the spa entrance, you will find the fitness center, and it is a fully comprehensive fitness center. You see here, you have the different benches, you've got the dumbbells over there, they've got several different sizes of weights, including some that, well, I can't lift, but I'm sure some of you could. I do like the little touch here where they've got the disposable headphones. They also have complimentary water. You'll notice that they're cans now, so it's an aluminum feature. They do not have plastic bottles anymore on board the ship. They've got two large screens here that they can play on. And then as we walk through, you can see you've got all the different circuit machines that you would utilize here for arms, legs, everything in between. You've got bikes over on the far side. You're also gonna have ellipticals. They have an entire row of ellipticals here that's facing out at the front of the ship. And then right here, you'll see that second set of circuits. So legitimately, you can do abs, you can do legs, you can do arms, whatever you want. And you can go all the way up and down and complete your circuit. At the very front, they're gonna have treadmills all the way around, and I love that they have the big screens, so you can look out the front of the ship, see what's going on, but also you can watch television, or if you want something interactive, you can as well. One new touch that I noticed that I really like are these Peloton bikes. So especially if you utilize that at home, you can continue on throughout your stay. And if you are in one of those top suites, then the retreat, you can actually even have one of those delivered to your room and utilize it throughout your stay. All right, it even passes the Danny height test, see? I got clearance, game on, and exercise complete for the cruise now. On the starboard side of the fitness center, you're gonna find the aerobics station. So this is where they're gonna do the different classes. You can see set up for yoga right here. They also have the spin bikes. They do classes every single day. They also have a zero gravity lounger, which is funny because I have one at home, but definitely don't use it for exercise. It's in my backyard with my beer for, well, anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that a little bit later. Over here, you also have a scale you can check out part of their in-body program. But basically, if you'd like, they can do personal consultations, you can do private training. They have all kinds of services. All you have to do is ask and they'll go over all of that with you on boarding day. Now, for those of you looking for less spa-like food, more Danny-like food, you've got the pool grill right here. So pool grill is gonna have the hot dogs, hamburgers, all the classics that you would expect. Fries, they've got a full bar as well too. And these guys, well, they have a lot of fun, right? <laughs> Been laughing with them the entire week. I can't tell you how over the moon excited we are to be back on board the beautiful Celebrity Millennium, to be back cruising, which is, well, this is the longest in my adult life. I haven't been on a ship. So cheers to you, cheers to the crew, cheers to Taylor, and for being back on board. Mm. I'll see you in a minute. 
Now we're just inside the Sky Lounge. This is a diverse space. It's at the very front of the ship. So all the way around on this side, you've got windows all the way in the front as well. You have several different types of seating. So at the heart, it is a lounge. It's used most in the evenings, also throughout the days for the day, throughout the different kinds of arts and crafts and fun that they have in here. But you'll see they have the chairs and tables. They've got booths wrapped all the way around. You've got sections with two, four, six, eight. You can put it together for a larger group. But right here behind me now, you can see the bandstand and the night, the dance club, you know, nightclub, dance floor kind of thing. It's a mix of that. But what I wanted to talk about in this space is why I cruise. I cruise because I love to meet people. I love to travel with my family. It's a, such a comfortable and relaxed way to enjoy a vacation. But when I'm in here immediately, I have nostalgia completely. We had we were cruised on this particular vessel with Bob for his birthday. This is my wife's stepdad, and we had such an incredible time with the entire family. I have memories to last a lifetime. Unfortunately, we recently lost Bob, who I loved dearly. He's been a big part of my life for a long time. But when I'm walking throughout this incredible space, what I love is that those memories come flooding back. For me, that's what going back on a cruise ship is. It's remembering all of those things that we love. So as we continue on throughout the space, you can see that they have different kinds of seating. This is elevated up here on the side. And as it wraps all the way around, they actually have seating that goes all the way around the front of the ship. This is one of those perfect spots to be in when you're going to the glaciers in Alaska. If you wanna be inside having a hot chocolate or maybe a little something with alcohol in there as well. And the perfect place for that is the bar. So you've got a full bar, they're seating on both sides, you can be facing out, or on the other side, you can be facing the dance floor. They've got the sound booth right here as well, because at its heart, this is an entertainment venue. So whatever time of the day you utilize this, this is perfect. As you can see here, there's nobody in here during the middle of the day right now. My wife will come up here because there's great light in the front, and so it's also a great place to read or just relax, or come back in the evening, get, get your boogie on on the dance floor, and have a great cruise. So now we're headed into Camp at Sea, which is Celebrity's Kids Club program. Now I did want to point out that Royal Caribbean is very family focused and they prefer to Celebrity essentially as family friendly. I find that it's a phenomenal cruise line for multi-generational travel, but of course they may not have all of the zip lines and things like that. But let me show you all the awesome things that they do have for kids. So this is the main check-in area here. This is gonna remain locked throughout your stay. And then all you have to do is come and check in. So I checked in already today for my daughter and we added my parents as guardians as well. So grandma and grandpa can come in here and collect her. And maybe mom and dad can go have a nice date night dinner. Now, as we head back, we're gonna head into the first of the three zones in this particular area. This is the three to five year old area. They're gonna have all kinds of activities throughout the day, throughout the week on the cruise here. They're gonna do different kinds of things that are intentionally set up. They also have free play. I love that they have all different kinds of books and activities. As an educator myself, I think that having the educational components along with the fun really amplifies the entire experience. And they also focus on the different areas they travel. If they're in Alaska, they're gonna have some fun activities specific to that. Now, my daughter's in here right now, my dad as well. Once again, perfect for multi-generational travel. They've got the TV right here, so they set up the bean bags for game time, movie time, things like that. I even love that they have these tiny little tables with tiny little chairs for my daughter as well, and the drinking fountains even at her level. Now I wanted to point out that these doors do shut. Right now, today's boarding day, they have it opened up so you can tour the entire area. But when I step through here and you were to come in through the hallway, if that was closed off, this is gonna be the area primarily for six to nine year olds. There's different times where they commingle in essence along the way, but in here you've got all kinds of coloring over to the side. You've got the little cubbies for shoes. Back behind, I don't know if you can see that, but you have the different bean bag options. They even have camp chairs as well. So they've got the bench seating here to set up for games. You've got an Xbox Connect. And in addition to that, they'll have movie time in here. You see on the far side, they got several different extra Xboxes as well. I mean, who doesn't love to play a video game or two? And right up top, you're gonna have different board games, one of our favorites, Hungry Hungry Hippos, a Monopoly, Guess Who, and even a fun game of Twister. Now we're gonna continue along through the Kids Club. I'm gonna turn right around the corner here, and we're gonna get the area that's dedicated to the 10 to 12 year olds. So as we progress, you can see it gets a little bit older and more age appropriate in that sense. I love back here that they got different kinds of arts and crafts. In fact, my daughter eyed that already and said, can I do that? I'm ready to make a necklace. So she'll be doing that in just a few minutes. You've got this entire wall here for the Xboxes. They, so these are traditional Xboxes. They also have the Xbox Connect set up on both sides here. 
We've got a couple tables and chairs on port days. They're usually open for lunch as well. Right here, you've got a game of ping pong. I know that's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe I'll play that with my daughter a little bit later. And then on the far side, you're gonna have foosball, hula hoops, basketball, volleyball, all kinds of different activities. The idea is to keep them entertained, to have fun, but just like every other part of this ship, it's the staff that makes the difference. They're dedicated to kids. They all have a background in child development. They all have their certifications. And I know that when I drop my daughter off here, she's gonna have an incredible time so every member of the family can have a great vacation. And when that's the case, you know that you've hit it out of the park. So now we're inside the X Club. This is a space dedicated to the teenagers and it's actually two levels high. So over on the far side, you're gonna find a library where they got books for them to check out or utilize. You also have the Xbox Connect setup. They can do rock band, guitar hero. They even have the guitars tucked around the corner now. They do all kinds of different fun and games for them. Well, what makes this space so unique is if you head up the stairs right up top, the teenagers have their own loft. So there's video games up there as well. They have those really big fat boy beanie ba bean bags that are a lot of fun to hang out and relax in. But also, in addition to all of the kids club space that you've already seen, they'll take them up to the sport court if they wanna play basketball or have games up there. Also down by the pool as well. But this is such a diverse space that, well, any teenager is gonna have a great time. So between the kids club and the teen club, they also have these video games. So if that's something you wanna do, these are an extra cost, but once again, just another option on board. Now I'd love to introduce you to Le Petit Chef at Cuisine. So if you walk in the space, this space has been Cuisine since a couple renovations ago, actually. They did a beautiful job. It's quirky. You've got the upside down lamps up above. You still have that kind of Alice in Wonderland type feel with the tall chairs and then the whimsical different colors. Of course, the orange and black and white are the colors of Cuisine. Now, when we walk all the way through here, what I love is they also have this experience for a large group. What you're not seeing is that there's projectors up above every single one of the tables. So they're projecting right on down to the plates and we're in the middle of the demonstration right now. So this is the entire meal. You're gonna have that fun, whimsical take on it. Now, Celebrity has taken dinner and a show to an entirely new level with Le Petit Chef but at Cuisine. Now, as you can see, I'm already having the show. We just sat down at the meal and there's a cooking competition coming out. You have a French chef, now a Spanish chef coming out, but the entire concept behind it is this interactive, kind of that dinner and a movie kind of concept. And once again, Celebrity's done this phenomenal for a long time. They, they pioneered some of the specialty dining experiences and they've always done a really great job with it. But this is a really unique experience. First ever to do it on board a cruise ship. And what I like is that not only you're interacting with those who you're dining with, your incredible waiters, the entire staff here, the phenomenal chefs, but you also get that elevated experience and a heck of a lot of quirky fun, to be honest with you. So now you got the Italian chef, and of course, what Italian chef doesn't sing as well? Now the menu is gonna move twice during the, your, your cruise if you're on a seven day, possibly a little bit more if you're on a longer one. So you can have two completely different experiences here. They have one menu and then once again, it moves over. But the famous one that everybody's gonna absolutely love is lobster and filet mignon. I mean, who doesn't love that? Those are cruise ship staples to begin with, but you take the lobster, the filet mignon, the incredible food and add this experience to it. I really can't imagine a better way to have a specialty meal while dining. You can see here that the table has now come completely to life. When we started out, the table, basically the plate just had the little celebrity logo. They introduced the chefs that are gonna have this competition. And as they bring out the different courses, each one of them is going to be quote unquote prepared by these different chefs. So right now they're starting the preparation. The food's gonna come out. We're gonna dig in, have an incredible meal. But once again, what a phenomenal fun concept to have on board your cruise. Now, those of you who've been on this ship or remember this in the old times, this used to actually be a flower shop way back when where they demonstrate different kinds of things along those lines. Uh, but now, of course, they converted it into a specialty restaurant as specialty restaurants have totally caught uh, the attention of everybody in the cruising world. So once again, a beautiful space. They open those up. You'd actually have the windows all the way around. You've got the wine cupboard in the distance. And then once again, large tables, tables for six, eight, four. But if you're looking for a fun and interactive experience, you got to check this out. So now we're just inside the Ocean View Cafe, as you're going to find all throughout the ship. They have these hand washing stations here. Of course, always important, whatever restaurant, bar, anything that you go to and just to update, I did wash them right before I walked in here as well too. But just wanted to point this out that they've really added these on, uh, even more of them over the last year or so. So let's continue on into the space. This is that traditional buffet restaurant. 
Right now, everything is being served, but that's been a signature of celebrity for quite some time. You can have that service, they'll even take the tray, walk it to the room or to your table. I remember doing that the very first time when I was traveling with my grandma, had her in a wheelchair, and they said, we do that anyway. So I think it's a great touch. You've got the cutlery and also the plates right over here. And then as you continue along, you're gonna find lots of different grab and go stations. So this is the Asian favorites. That vegetable biryani looks really, really good. Right around the corner, you've got, uh, let's see, we've got some Indian, we've got some Thai, and then wrapping around, you've got some Chinese on the other side. And then one other thing that I wanted to point out are these drink stations. So you're gonna find them all around the ship, anywhere where there's food, but here you've got the different juices. Right now it's apple, orange, lemonade, and fruit punch. You've got the coffees and the hot water with the full tea set up and hot chocolate. I know my daughter always loves to gravitate towards that. And then you also have the water and ice stations there as well. They're gonna have bar stations set up throughout the Ocean View Cafe as well. But of course, your servers can take care of all of that for you. What we're actually gonna go do now is wrap all the way around. And don't worry, I'll be back. See if a soft serve over there, I'm just saying. We'll be back there. So one of the things that I love about here is that they go all in with the desserts first, right? This is where it should be. So you've got all kinds of different cakes. I especially love this one because it's true. Someday is here, the Celebrity Millennium is back. We're sailing, we're back on the ocean, and I can't tell you how excited we are. My smile has not gone down at all. You've got a nacho station here, so basically create your own nachos. You also have fajitas if you'd like to take part there. And then as we continue along, you're gonna see more of these separate food stations. So this is the carvery. Right now they've got roast beef and they can carve it however you'd like. Just brought my wife the end cap there. You've got rice dishes, looks like paella over here and then wrapped around to the other side. You're also gonna have some Greek food. And then as we continue on back, one of the things I love about celebrities, they always do a great job with fresh fruits. So you'll see here you have nectarines and peaches, pomegranates, cherries, you even have some cactus fruits as well. That, well, that looks really good. I'm gonna be back in just a minute, but those are all of your melons cut up and ready for you. Now, as we're walking through the space, all around me, you're gonna have different types of seating. So right here, I'll point out, you've got these high bar top seats. They added these in during the renovation. You get more people in, in that space, and I really like that, especially if you're traveling with a larger group. You also have the low tops over here. You've got the chairs, the booths wrapped all the way around. So if you watched our other videos, what I always tell people is try to escape where people are. So especially on boarding day, if you head all the way to the back, there's more seating here, there's seating in the aft. You have two salad bars, so there's one on this side, one on the far side. They've got all kinds of different pasta salads, potato salads as well. And then as we continue along here, you're gonna find all kinds of different hot dishes. So these are from the grill. Right here, you've got fried chicken, pork parmesan, shepherd's pie. You've got steaks over here, different kinds of fish, potatoes, pastas. And then as you continue along and wrap all the way around the other side, you're gonna find more of the fajitas. So this is another nacho station. And then you also have pizzas cooked to order. Now, another thing that I really love is the fromagerie. So right here, you've got basically your own charcuterie board if you wanna make it. You got the different cold cuts. And then of course, melon and prosciutto, one of my all time favorites. And on the far side, you have a wide selection of cheeses. I love that they even have some of our favorite Dutch cheeses from Amsterdam, and that's really, really Gouda. Those of you who know me well know that I may be most excited about the return of the ice cream station. So here, particularly, they have all kinds of cookies. They've got the different toppings for the soft serve ice cream, which is my all-time favorite, and I think Wayne knows that for sure. You also have the different ice creams that they rotate throughout the cruise, so you're gonna have a kiwi sorbet, coffee, strawberry, vanilla, and then over on the far side, you also have the brownie caramel mousse. I mean, come on, look at that stuff. Ooh, I can't wait to get back here. Now, one thing that I love that they added in right at the front here is the bakery. You can look at all these beautiful fresh baked breads. They've got sweet buns and panini bread. I absolutely love the French baguettes. They're absolutely delicious. But what you can see is they have a wide assortment. And what's great about it is right when you walk in, you get that fantastic smell of the fresh baked bread and goods. In fact, this is Taylor's favorite stop. I usually wait for the dessert to load up, but you know, he's gonna come here and fill up first. But as you continue along, you can see why. It's got some oatmeal pumpernickel roll. They change it out throughout the cruise. And then what's great is you can actually even see them baking right here. So now we're in the very aft of the ship, which as all of you who watch our videos know, is my favorite place to be on a cruise ship. I love that they have this set aside for the Sunset Bar. So it's also an extension of the restaurant as well. You see they have different seating here. Now this particular ship, all the best real estate, the top suites are in the very back. And as you head on down, I love that it goes straight down and you can take advantage of that. But that means that there's not that many places where you can be in the aft of the ship if you're not in one of those room categories. So as we walk around the Sunset Bar, you can see they have different tables and 
some chairs set out here. You can eat, of course, drink. Well, we're at another bar, so why not? Can I get a gin? Good afternoon. How are you? Uh, That's your favorite not only, not only is the service incredible, but they read my mind. Cheers. Thank you guys so much. Welcome back. We love it. Mm, mm. Well, continue along. Like you see, you have a full bar set up here. Incredible bartenders that are going to keep you smiling, laughing, and I guess well lubricated, if you will, for there. Um, and as we continue along, you see there's more on the other side. You've got the tables and chairs. Once again, a perfect place. This is also one of those fantastic places to be when you're in the glaciers or the fjords, if you want to take in those incredible views. So now we're getting ready for showtime in the Celebrity Theater. You see, you've got the full stage behind me here. It's two levels. I love that they have it tiered down here so you can get great seats from up in the balcony. And then down below as well, you've got that stadium style seating and then it goes up around the sides and then it goes all the way up in the back. Now this is where you're gonna find those signature headliner shows. Here they have Elysium. It's kind of tying into a bit of a fairy tale as it works throughout the show. You also have Uptown, R&B, New York City kind of focus where it's a lot of energy, a lot of fun and great music. But in addition to that, they're gonna have comedians, they're gonna have special acts throughout your entire cruise. Depending on how long it is, they're gonna mix and match that as you go. But celebrities always been at the top of the game when it comes to entertainment. And this ship is no exception to that. So like I said, as you can see, this is a multi-use uh, functional area, so it's mostly for the big show times and for all the different entertainment, but they might use it throughout the day for bingo and for some other fun as well. Now, one place that you definitely want to visit on board your cruise is the Celebrity Future Cruise Vacations desk. So they're going to be here for you when you're ready. What better place to book your next cruise than when you're most excited about your current cruise because you had an incredible time. They've been busy throughout our cruise and they always are. What I love is you get some special discounts that you only get on board the ship. And of course, as your travel advisor who booked the cruise in the first place, this is gonna go right on over to us so we can provide service throughout the time that you're the booking. So we can service the booking throughout its lifetime. We can change things, we can add things. You can also book it where you don't choose your next cruise as well. And then you have about 90 days to lock that in and you still get the same discount. Now we're gonna wander through a bit of the retail. Now just to my side here, you're gonna find Celebrity Innovations. Celebrity for quite some time now has had a partnership with Apple. You're gonna find those in the computer lounge. They're gonna teach you about that. So if you wanna learn about how to use your Apple computer, iMac, iPhone, they can do that for you. And you can also purchase items here as well. Inside, you're gonna find the Tag Heuer shot. So they have lots of high-end retail on board. They have different kinds of retail and uh, jewelry like Effie Amation. And then also over here, you're gonna find the Marketplace. So the Marketplace is where you can find your different celebrity logo gear. Maybe you want a t-shirt, maybe you want something to bring home with you. They've got all those different options as well. Continuing along on the far side, you're gonna have the collection. This is where you're gonna find more of the different retail clothing items. These are more name brands. And then also you're gonna find watches and different kinds of jewelry. Now, as we continue along, one of those classic things that you can do on a cruise ship is buy spirits, of course, and uh, you can also buy tobacco products if you'd like. But what I like about it, and the reason a lot of people shop on board a cruise ship, is that duty-free experience. So what I find is that a lot of alcohol prices are tied to the duty related to it. So they're usually quite a bit less than you would find at home. Now keep in mind, if you do buy those bottles, they're gonna give them to you on the last night. Of course, everybody does have an alcohol package, so you may not need that anyways, but just keep that in mind when you do that purchase. As we continue along, you can see the gem. This is where you're gonna find more watches and fine jewelry as well. And then even more retail as we continue along. Now this area is probably familiar to a lot of you. They'll set up pop-up shops and things like that throughout the, your stay. You can do the inch of gold. But once again, there is a ton of retail here on board. You've got all of your favorite high-end experiences, all the different high-end jewelers and watchmakers. And well, if you wanna buy some retail and you wanna have a little retail therapy while on board, this is that perfect place to take advantage of the duty-free pricing. Now set right in the heart of the ship, you're gonna find the coffee shop experience. In this particular case, Celebrity calls it Cafe Il Bacchio. It's an Italian reference, of course. On one side, you're gonna find the gelateria. So they have lots of great choices. This is an upgrade unless you're in one of those top suites. And then just behind it, you're gonna have all the toppings, all the favorites that you would have. But what I love is the coffee shop is really set all the way around the entire foyer. So down below me, you're gonna have guest relations at the very bottom, and you've got that classic lighted stairway going up. It takes me right back to my very first time on this ship in 2003. 
Now on the other side, you're gonna find the full coffee shop. Now most of the coffees are included with that classic beverage package, which everybody now gets, but you can also upgrade the premium. Maybe you wanna put something top shelf in there as well. Now, all the bars are my favorite place. This is Taylor's place and they saw him coming. So I guess it's time for a coffee. There we go. Cheers once again. So here at the coffee shop, of course, they're gonna make all the different espressos and lattes and all of your favorite. And as we continue around, well, they've got a little bit for me here too. You've got all of those fantastic cookies, macaroons, and then once again, that welcome back sign on the cakes. Oh, well, I'm ready to stay here forever. Just forward of the Metropolitan Restaurant, you're gonna find Cellar Masters. This is, of course, has a full bar where you can have all kinds of different things in here, but at its heart, it's a wine bar. They do wine tastings. They actually do an incredible job with whiskey tastings as well, but you can take advantage of that full bar package. Every single person now gets a complimentary beverage package here. You can upgrade it if you'd like to get to some of those on the top shelf. And there's even some that are a little higher end and you just pay the difference. But what I wanted to show you is this space here. This is what it's all about. This is where they're gonna do wine tastings. So if you're somebody who already does that and you really enjoy it, you can learn and increase your knowledge. If you don't, it's a really fun thing to learn on vacation. In fact, I'm really looking forward to one of the whiskey tastings a little bit later. I might be right there and until I'm still right there, who knows? But let's continue on through the space. It's a really beautiful space as well. You've got a couple couches. You can see extra comfortable, tall chairs as well. What I like about this space is it's always quiet throughout the day. So if you wanna grab a book, you can come in here as well. My wife will turn it into a sewing room because well, frankly, she'll turn everything into a quilting room if you ask me. But as we continue along, I just wanted to show you have some more high back chairs, some low backs as well. It's that perfect place for a nice cocktail before or after dinner. Set just next to Cellar Masters is Sushi on Five. It's a sushi restaurant. Sushi is so incredibly popular. And of course, we're on the ocean. What better place to partake in some wonderful fish dishes? They've got all your favorite rolls. In fact, I think on this cruise, I might have eaten my entire weight in dragon rolls, rainbow rolls, all kinds of different sushi sashimi as well. I'll take you just over here. You can see that they have the sushi bar. I love that concept where it's interactive. You can see what's going on. And then of course, just keep ordering all your favorites. Now you might find me here here before dinner. You could also find me here after dinner. I know I may have mentioned once or twice that a place is my favorite. Other than the soft serve machines, this really is my home away from home. Now we're just inside Blue Restaurant. So this is a specialty restaurant here just for Aqua Class guests. And in fact, the first time I personally experienced Blue was on this very ship in this dining room. And I'll be honest, I was blown away. I didn't know what to expect. The whole concept behind Aqua Class is that, that combination of a cruise and spa experience. So you're gonna have upgraded amenities in your room. Of course, you get access to the Persian garden in the spa. But to me, this is the real reason to upgrade to Aqua Class. So the first time I dined here, I wasn't sure what a spa menu was gonna be. And what I found out is that it's basically an upgraded specialty experience from start to finish. They're gonna have some lighter fare and also spa dishes, if you will, but they have all the classics that you love and every single thing that they prepare is elevated. The main dining room experience here on Celebrity is great, but this particular experience to me is really, really worth the upgrade. One of the classic parts of taking a cruise is getting your photo taken. Of course, it's always your choice if you wanna do that. But what I love is they can capture all of those fantastic moments. Those of you who've cruised often and for quite a while, you'll recognize these walls where they would print every single photo, put them up there. You'd come down and pick them out. Remember spending a lot of my last days at cruises doing that exact thing. Now in this area as well, they also have the studio where you can go and have your portraits taken. So these are more professionally done portraits, different poses based on what you're looking for. And then I wanted to take you right over here to this kiosk because now it's a much more modern experience. So all you have to do is tap your card right here and then all of the photos that you've been tagged with, so you give them the, your card every single time they take a photo, whether in the dining room, getting off the ship or around the cruise experience. And then you can pull up all of your photos right here. You can have them print them or you can get them all put on a flash drive or you take them home and do that yourself. There's also some retail options here in addition where you can get all kinds of different cameras and things. Maybe you're gonna do an underwater excursion and you want that digital camera or high-end binoculars as well. Continuing along, we're gonna find the Park West Gallery. I have a ton of customers that love to come on board and get art, of course, duty-free once again. This is a fantastic place for that, but you can see they have some of them displayed here. Of course, they have a lot more. They're gonna have the art auctions and different experiences. What I love is you can even go and just learn about art as well. Just another great experience on board. 
On deck four, you'll find the newly renovated The Retreat Lounge. This is for retreat guests only. You'll probably recognize the space as the former Michael's Club. This is open 24 hours a day. So they're gonna have service all throughout the day and into the evening. You can see the beautiful lounge space. They've got these booth seats sitting here. They also have several different configurations, couches, benches. This is that perfect place to meet up with friends either before dinner, after dinner, or once again, you're in the retreat, you can come anytime that you'd like. I did wanna point out that they have a food station over there. So that's gonna be replenished throughout the day as well. Now we're gonna head on back to, well, my favorite part of this space and any space, and that's gonna be the bar. So in the bar, you're gonna find bartenders here throughout the day and into the evening. They'll be right here. And later on in the evening, when it's not staff, they actually have the non-alcoholic fridge open, so you can go ahead and take what you'd like. You've got water, sodas, things like that. But of course, if you're in the retreat, you already get the premium beverage package. So most likely you have access to anything that you want. Now I know Taylor's favorite stop is right over here. You've got a Lavazza coffee maker. You can make coffee and tea throughout your day. Or once again, you can order that and have it delivered as room service. So now we're inside a place that I visit every once in a while on a cruise ship. It's the Casi Yes. Wait, what Taylor? Oh, sorry, Casino, here we go. So here you are, you can see, of course, they've got all the different machines that you would expect. You've got the slot machines, my all time favorite, a little Wheel of Fortune fun with a group. They have all the tables in the middle as well. So you've got three card poker over here, lots of different types of blackjack as well. And one of the things that I really appreciate is that they still have a hand dealt poker table. So you can play Texas Hold'em right here. I really don't like the machines that keep going. I think it's more of an interactive experience. You'll probably find me here later on the cruise. Now, because it's a casino, you're gonna have a full bar. Once again, fantastic bartenders in here as well. And then as we continue along, you're gonna have the blackjack and then more of that. Roulette is set just behind and you got the cage just behind there. Now, as we continue on through the casino, you've got more blackjack right here. I just wanted to stop for a second because I've already waned nostalgic a bit on this tour, but this is the table where I learned how to play craps. I came on this ship with my mom after a year of studying abroad. We were, well, here when I was just over 21 years old, I think about a week past. In fact, I celebrated my birthday in Barcelona and I came here and I learned how to play craps. And what's really funny is I do like to play craps from time to time. I had the best role I've ever had in my life on my very first roll. I wanna say it was well over 40 minutes time and uh, everybody around me made a heck of a lot of money. And I'm gonna say I made maybe 50 bucks or so. I had no clue what I was doing, but I had a ton of fun. Once again, one of those experiences you can have on the cruise ship. Now, the other thing that I learned is that the other guys around me enjoyed it so much that every night they encouraged me to come back down and roll. That way they could make a bit more money as well. And we even went and ventured off in Santorini and some other places, had some champagne to celebrate. But just a fun story because once again, on cruises, there's something for everyone. If you don't love the casino, you don't have to come by here. There's art auctions. You've got the entertainment. You've got all the restaurants, the bars, everything else. But if you do, I think it just enhances the experience. Now, one of the spots that's always hopping on this ship and has been since they put it in is the Ice Top Martini Bar. You can see here, well, you can draw on there, do whatever you want, but this is the social gathering spot and, well, my favorite bar on the ship. But beyond that, it's a lot of fun. This is where you're gonna find the bartenders doing some of that flair bartendering. You can, of course, have them pour multiple drinks at once, but this is probably a seat you're gonna find me in pretty often on board. In fact, let's start right now. So now it's game time, of course. Orange, you glad I ordered that? Yeah. No? Oh, too much, my bad, I'm sorry. The dad joke's gotta stop and the drinking's gotta start. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much. You. Cheers to all of our new friends. And uh, let's see. Mm. Yep. Walked in, gonna hobble on out, just saying. On the outside part of deck four, you're gonna find the promenade. So this is an outdoor area. It's on both sides of the ship, but this is the most classic of all cruise experiences. And what I love about it is this is where you can go and connect with the sea. Of course, from your private balcony, you can as well, but it's a really nice space. So if you wanna walk, you can do that. You see, they've got the loungers out here. Normally on a sea day, they'll have quite a few more loungers. It's my favorite place to go and grab a book and sit and read and relax. Like I said, the reason is really that you're right here with the ocean just beyond the railing. I think that's such a quintessential sailing experience in general. 
Now, this fits perfectly with the Celebrity brand. In general, Celebrity is a luxury cruise line. They're one of the more inclusive of all of the brands. They've become more and more inclusive over the last couple of years for sure. They've really taken that retreat or suite experience to the next level, and they've done a phenomenal job with that. But what I love about, about Celebrity in general and this space is that they're all about classic cruising with a modern and contemporary twist. So you see the decor, of course, is all beautifully redone when they did the massive revolution upgrades. But what they've not forgotten is their roots. You know, they go back to being a Greek company from many, many years ago. That was long before they were part of the Royal Caribbean group. And then as we continue along throughout the entire tour, what you'll see is they have those classic cruise spaces, but each and every time they've had the opportunity, they've taken it up a notch to another level. That goes from dining. The Tuscan Grill is incredible. Of course, Lumine Suite Experience, Blue for Aqua Class. They've really pioneered some of these concepts, but they haven't forgotten who they are at heart. They're a cruise company. They love Greece. They love the world. But what I love about Celebrity is their dedication to service, to their personnel, to their people, and of course, their cruisers who come back time and time again. Another great drink. Thank you so much. Cheers. Oh, wait, wait, we're still filming? Well, you know, I'm gonna take the drink with me. I'll see you in just a minute. So now we're inside the Rendezvous Lounge. This is one of those classic lounge experiences from Celebrity. They have a full stage and dance floor, so they do classes in here. Maybe you wanna to learn to line dance and have fun throughout the day. But really what this is, is in the evening, it's a bit of a show lounge. So they're gonna have live singers here. They've got the full band, of course, right there as well, piano. But all around, it's just a really comfortable space. So you've got the chairs lining all the way along the windows there. You've got the high back chairs and sofas as well throughout. So once again, it's just a classic place where you can escape during the day, have a nice quiet place to read, or of course, come back in the evening before or after dinner, have some live music, dancing, and really enjoy that cruise experience. Now there's so many reasons to have a retreat suite here on board the Celebrity Millennium. This might be the most important one. It's that upgraded culinary experience. It's called Lumine, and it's a phenomenal restaurant that you get as a suite guest breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's gonna be a la carte. So of course they have a wide variety of dishes that change every single day. And they've also taken that partnership with Daniel Baloud to the next level in here. So you can have one of those Daniel Baloud upgraded signature dishes. But once again, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a la carte. So you can choose as you'd like. It's completely upgraded. In fact, it's the best restaurant on board the ship, as you would expect for being a retreat amenity. Now this beautiful space is the Metropolitan Main Dining Restaurant. It's always been a beautiful space on this ship. I love that they have the huge glass panels in the back so you can see wherever you're sailing away from or have those beautiful ocean views while you sail. Of course, all around the edges as well, you're gonna have the big porthole windows so you can look out. But what this is, is it's, it's the heart and soul of any cruise ship. It's the main dining restaurant. You can see they have all kinds of setups in here. Tables for two, four, six, eight, ten. You can even have a bigger table as well. They're gonna rotate that menu throughout the entire time that you're on board the ship. They have breakfast in here, not every single day, but almost every day, lunch. And then of course, primarily, this is a dinner restaurant. They're gonna move it around so every day you're gonna have the classics that you love. And in addition to that, they're gonna have specialties each and every night as well. So this is included for every single guest. Now keep in mind, if you're an aqua class, you could choose to dine here, but you're gonna get that phenomenal blue dining experience. And then if you're in the suites, you can dine here as well. But my recommendation would be to head over Lumine and that incredible menu. But whoever you're choosing to cruise with, this is that perfect place to come together each day. I love multi-generational travel. Everybody can do whatever they want. And then you come back and have the same table and service every single evening. You get to know the waiters and you're gonna have a great time with that. Or you can choose the Celebrity Select where you can dine whenever you'd like through a time period, usually from about five-ish to about nine-ish or so, where you just come whenever it is you're ready, have a seat and start enjoying. Now I'm headed right down the iconic lighted stairway here on the Millennium. You can see it heads right on up. And those of you who've been on the ship, you'll instantly recognize that from the entire class. Now down here, you're gonna find the guest relations desk. So it's just behind me here. They're gonna take care of all those details that you need throughout the cruise. They're, the pursers are here to really assist you with anything money related, or if you have any special or unique requests. Now, as we continue along through the space, we're gonna head over to the shore excursions desk. So like always, I do recommend that you do your shore excursions even before you leave home, you get all of those set. It's really easy to do. 
But if you haven't, or if you have any questions, you need to pick up picket, tickets, you need to make a change, you just head right over to here. And of course, the Shore Excursions desk is incredibly knowledgeable. They've been on most of the Shore Excursions, or at least one member of the staff has. They can advise you. But more than that, they can take care of all the details that you may need. Set just next to the purser's desk, you're gonna find the internet workplace. So they do have Apple computers. There's several of them all the way along, though most people now bring their own device, either a laptop or of course a phone. And all of that can be connected to the Wi-Fi. When they renovated the ship, they added a ton more Wi-Fi hotspots. And then Royal Caribbean Group has continuously upgraded the quality of the internet in addition. Now this beautiful space is the Tuscan Grill. It's where Celebrity has married two of my all-time favorite dining concepts, an incredible steakhouse, and a really, really fantastic high-end Italian dining experience. What I love about that is in addition to adding on a seafood house, they've combined all the favorites so you can find something for everyone. You start out with those favorite Italian appetizers, the bruschettas, all kinds of different burrata, which makes me really, really happy. You move through the large amount of pasta dishes as well, and then you get into the main courses. Once again, seafood, steaks, all kinds of high-end experiences there. And then they have a large variety of sauces and sides that you can add on. And then of course, you've got to cap it off with a delicious dessert, Taylor's all-time favorite, tiramisu. Now in the restaurant itself, you see they have several different types of tables. They've got this large table here for 10. They've got round tops for six, two tops, fours you can push together. And another thing that I really appreciate is they also have this kind of open dining experience. As you can see right back into the kitchen, see all that incredible food being made for you. Now cruising is all about creating those memories that last a lifetime. And my mom and I were on this cruise together the last time in 2003, celebrating my 21st birthday after I studied abroad. And what I think is so unique and special is I have those incredible memories of being in Tuscany. So now we get to have the Tuscan grill on this particular trip. We explored all throughout Spain, Italy, and finished up in Venice. And tonight we're actually gonna be celebrating my mom's 70th birthday here on board. Once again, pulling together that experience, taking family, multi-generational travel, and a place like this where you're gonna make it incredibly special, so happy birthday, mom, and we can't wait to have that incredible meal shortly. Now, if you're looking to host an event where you need meeting space on board, the Celebrity Millennium does have some great space for you. You can see here they have dividers up, so they've sectioned off part of this room. We just wanted to show you what that looks like. They can divvy it up more if you want smaller classroom style settings. But in addition to that, you have the main theater, you have all the specialty restaurants. There's a ton of places around the ship where we can coordinate those different events for you. So when you're ready to book your next corporate incentive group or just a meeting or group of friends gathering together, let us know and we can take advantage, take care of the meeting space as well. First off, congratulations for making it all the way through the video and thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with us today. I hope you've enjoyed your time on board the Celebrity Millennium, this newly revolutionized ship. Well, she is in incredible shape. I love all the new amenities and I've been blown away by all of the fantastic experiences here on board. When you're ready to book your next Celebrity Cruise, reach out to Heart Travel. We are your luxury cruise experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Celebrity Cruises and we know that we can craft a vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value.